In this episode of To The Point Code, we will be creating a backend cell by using Node.js, MongoDB, and also Postman for testing. Let's have a quick look at what we will be creating today. To get started, let's create our work structure. First, we create a directory or a folder and give it any name we want. In this case, we'll call it login server. After the folder is created, we go to the command line and enter this directory we just created. Once we are in the directory, we type npm in it to initialize the project. Once it starts running, we give it a description and an entry point for our project. Once the npm init is done running, we create a few directories. In this case, we used a command line to create them. So we create an API folder, a config folder, and also a models folder. We also create a .env file, which will be used to house our environment variables. Remember, we can equally do this using the graphical user interface. Now let's open our directory in a code editor. In this case, I will use code dot to open it in VS Code. You can equally do that if you have VS Code installed. Now to the MongoDB setup. To do that, we go to mongodb.com and sign in using a Google account. If this is your first time signing into MongoDB, you'll be required to create a cluster and a user. But in my case, I've created a cluster and a user already. So we go to collections and as you can see, there is nothing in my collections. Once we are done, we choose connect, connect your application and copy the string that is provided for us. We go back to our code editor and in the .env file we created, we create a variable mongodb underscore uri and we paste the link or the string we copied. In the string, we replace the db name with user db. This can be anything at all, but that is what we choose to call it in this video. That's the name of your database. Also, we replace the password with the password of the user you created while setting up the MongoDB. Once we are done, let's go to the config folder and create a file db.js. In this file, we use Mongoose to connect to our MongoDB database.
In addition to Mongoose, we'll be using .env library to access the environmental variables we create in the .env file. Now let's go back to the terminal and install a few packages. Once the installation is done, we create a server.js file in our root directory and write some code. To create our server, we'll be using Express, which is a library for Node.js. To make it possible to take in post form data, we use body parser from Express. Once we have the Express setup, we can listen and start our server. Now back to the command line, we install a few more packages. Now let's use Nodemon to run our server. Now back to the server.js file, let's require our mongodb file. This will give us access to our mongodb database. Now back to the command line, we can see that it says db connected. Now let's set up our API routes. To do so, let's go into our API folder and create a user.js file. We'll use Express Router to set up our routes. Here, we set up handlers for sign up and sign in. Now back to our server.js file, we direct our application to use the router we just created. Now in the models directory, we create another user.js file. In this file, we use Mongoose to create a model to enable us to communicate with our Mongo database. And that's it for the part one of this episode. In the second part of this episode, we will create the sign up and sign in for our server. If you learned something from this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the part 2 of this video to get our server complete and running. <music>